Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again. Finally, after being gone for several weeks, I have actually kind of intentionally, I just couldn't face finishing up this article in the analysis, accident analysis and prevention magazine that I found from 2013. It's called Testing the Validity of the International Atomic Energy Agency Safety Culture Model. We have a wee bit to read and then I'll be done. And I really have done this uh, reading for austerity's sake, posterity's sake, I guess is the word. Austerity is what we're being subjected to. Uh, I don't know why, but it really has been, uh, I knew I only had a little tiny bit to read. But somehow it has felt like a finality. And I just have not been able to face it. And... Uh, I just decided I need to get on with this and face it, put my courage feet on and face it and um, do some tapping. I'm going to do some tapping after this video, but let me get on with reading. We only have like, as I said, maybe half a page left to read. So I'm going to finish it. We'll be done with this deal. Thank you for uh, bearing it to the few TJ Washington, to the few who have actually really listened to every single one of these videos and commented. Thank you for making it not a pointless exercise, um, which is what everything in life is beginning to feel like, a pointless exercise. Uh, I have to say the ennui, the gaslighting, the it's oppressing. And that is the point of it all, isn't it? Oppression. So fuck them, man. Well, I'm going to finish reading this and I'm going to get happy. Okay, so we are on the conclusion section of this article, section three, and we are on the last few chapters. It's actually only two or three more paragraphs, long paragraphs. Okay, I'm going to read you the very last sentence because that kind of goes along with it. To control for this possibility, we performed Harmon single factor test which requires taking measurements of clearly different traits and loading all the measures into an exploratory factor analysis under the assumption that the presence of common method variants will result in either a single factor or a general factor accounting for the majority of the covariance among the measures. In our case, even if the EFA of the IAEA's attributes resulted in five factors, we factor, anal anal we factor analyze the responses of two additional scales, role ambiguity and trust. The analysis of the three scales, which had been collected at the same time, resulted in a six-factor model that explained 58% of the variance. Interestingly, at all the role ambiguities, specifically four items with an alpha coefficient of 0.81, loaded on the same factor, and all the trust items, specifically four items with an alpha coefficient of 0.77, loaded on the same factor. None of the safety culture items had factor loadings more than 0.40 on the factors that comprise the items on role ambiguity and trust scales. These results reduce the likelihood that the high correlations observed among the five dimensions of the IAEA model could be mainly attributed to the result bias or common method effects. Finally, the sixth issue to be considered is related to the use of questionnaires for safety culture assessment. The third study explored the dimensional structure of the IAEA model through the answers given by a sample of nuclear workers to a questionnaire based on this model. With this quantitative technique, we measured to what extent participants perceived that 37 specific organizational performance aspects and attributes were being fulfilled on, in their NPP nuclear power plant. Perceptions, as well as thought processes, feelings and behaviors are usually determined by the deepest and usually unconscious level of culture. But it is believed that these underlying levels of culture can only be reached by ethnographic approaches, including intensive and extensive observations and employee interviews. Therefore, with this questionnaire, we may have measured safety climate perceptions. 
However, if these perceptions are determined by the underlying safety culture of the organization, participants' answers should, to a certain degree, reflect the existing safety culture in their organization. Safety climate perceptions are a window to the underlying safety culture assumptions. Furthermore, the use of questionnaires for the assessment of safety culture is widely spread. We encourage, now this is the very last paragraph of this article. We encourage the nuclear community to contribute to the improvement and empirical validation of the IAEA model. Right. The empirical studies presented on this paper could be replicated to determine whether our results are consistent across different samples and nuclear power plants. We would also like to suggest that the IAEA to to the IAEA to perform factorial analyses of the scores they obtain on each of the attributes in their SCART missions, as this information may be crucial for understanding the dimensionality of their model. We are not aware that the validity of the SCART methodology has been investigated, and doing so could help find evidence supporting the validity of the IAEA model. Organizations have used the SCART methodology, methodology for their own, or any other assessment instrument based on the IAE model, are also encouraged to test the validity of these instruments. As has been shown, the validity of the IAEA model can also be tested by means of assessment pro pro procedures simpler than the SCART, such as the one we have presented in the third study in this paper. It is worth noting that the IAEA has created specific indicators of safety culture for which the attributes of the model. In the pa present paper, we decided to test the IAEA model through 37 attributes. However, using these indicators, using these indicators could have provided additional information about the internal structure of the IAEA model. Further studies should also try to replicate the model with the indicators of the safety culture, keeping in mind that some of them, as in the case of the attributes, are double or triple barriered. So to gain more evidence about the validity of the model, an additional study is suggested. We have been concerned with the extent to which each of the, these attributes of the model is relevant to the dimension to which it is supposed to belong. This has been referred to as the relevance aspect of content validity. However, exploring the other side of the coin the representativeness aspect of content validity could also help improve the model. Researchers are encouraged to test whether the attributes of the model are representative of the safety culture construct. In other words, whether the entire domain of the safety culture construct can be reproduced by the 37 attributes included in the IAEA model, and if higher level dimensions exist within the construct, whether the attributes are proportional to them. And that, my friends, is the end of this lengthy article which you have borne witness to me reading. Quite boring. Thank you for tolerating it. Um, I did it really for posterity, posterity's sake so that people would, that would be somewhere other than just buried in a freaking library. Um, for God's sakes, we're going to really need to put our courage feet on because the shit is hitting the fan soon. Actually, it already has. Fukushima is already done. And these people are freaking lying to us. And... This has already happened. Unlimited CIA funding. America's completely gone off its rocker. Uh, we don't even have a functioning government that is reflective of democracy. It's a hard comeuppance, man. Put your courage feet on, you guys, and take action. I don't know what action, but I don't know. Does that even matter? I mean, I'm... ah. I guess I need to do some tapping. <laughs> Ciao.